Hey everyone, today I have a deck review on the Bicycle Club Tattoo Playing Cards. You can pick this deck up at Being Poker World by clicking the link in the description box. I want to start with a little bit of history behind this deck. So, it is based off of Club Tattoo, which was started in 1995 by Chester Bennington, the lead singer of Lincoln Park. The artists that designed the artwork for this deck are Chris Garcia and Joey Hamilton. So looking at the box, we see that it says Bicycle Club Tattoo Playing Cards, and it has almost a shield-like design in the center there. On both sides, it says Air Cushion Finish Made in the USA, and there is a spade with a skull. On the bottom, there is a barcode and some copyright information. The back has some information about Club Tattoo and also a look at the back design and the faces of the cards. On the top, it says Standard Size Tattoo Face and there is a black U.S. Playing Card Company seal. And when you open the flap, there is some more bicycle copyright information. And that's about it for the box. Here are the cards. The deck comes with a card that contains information about Club Tattoo and the artist, as well as a bicycle ad card. And this is the back design of the deck, so we see the same artwork that we saw on the front of the box. And it is a one-way back design, which can make it difficult to do some tricks if you're using the deck for magic. Really, I think the back design is a little bland, and they could have done more with it to make it stand out. What's even more intriguing with this deck is the faces. So here are the Jokers. One of them is of a woman in black and white. It says Joker and we see the woman there. The other one says Club Tattoo Joker and there's a skull. There's different coloring here. The Ace of Spades also has a skull on it. And the other aces are very colorful. Here are the court cards. The court cards are definitely something in this deck that stands out. They all have very, very nice art, and they're very colorful, and they just really pop and are really beautiful, and it's something in this deck that really makes it unique and a great addition to a collection. And here are all of the court cards so that you can take a look at those. The number cards have a different font on them, and they also have a background. I think that's a little bit distracting with the back picture, but it also adds to that um, tattoo art uh, design element. And that's it for the design of this deck. For handling, the deck has an air cushion finish and a bicycle stock, which is a fairly average combination for a deck of cards. Uh, the cuts, very good, as well as the shuffles. Uh, they are a springy deck, and the cards also dribble well. Considering how much ink is on these cards, the fans are quite even. Here is a giant fan. You can see that the pharaohs are even as well. And with a giant fan, there's a little bit more design that is seen. The ribbon spreads can be done easily. And that's about it for handling. I think that the main focus with this deck is more on the artwork and not really on the handling, but it does handle very well, just like most other United States Playing Card Company decks. Alright, so to recap, I would say that this deck is definitely meant to be more of an artistic deck than really a deck to perform with. Uh, the back design could use a little work in my opinion, but the faces are very interesting and unique to look at. It does handle well, and you can use it to perform if you desire to do so. That's my review on the Bicycle Club Tattoo Playing Cards. You can pick these up at BM Poker World by clicking the link in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.